morning, Vanguard, and welcome to this edition of Nightly News. I'm Savannah Ewers. And I'm Andy Diaz. Point Orlando Security. For Marvin Egan's, his goal is to make Point Orlando the safest it can possibly be. I'm pretty sure no one wants something stolen from them that they worked hard for. And next time you're out shopping, you can worry less about your safety and more about your outfit. But his life is more than being a security guard. He's also working three additional jobs. I catch on to things very quickly, and uh, I guess you say I can multitask pretty good. So why does he do it? It's all for his family. So that way I can provide for them and uh, have some of the things that I didn't have as I was growing up as a kid. I always want to strive to be the best. The future success of his kids is most important, which encourages him to be a good role model. It's very important because the way I look at it is, there's nothing bad coming from what I'm doing because it has good results. Since Marvin makes his hard work look easy, he hopes to inspire his children to do the same. I know for a fact that they would like to be successful in their um, future also. For Student Television Network, I'm Julia Wilson reporting. Okay, I'm on my way up. All right, thanks. So Savannah, did you have a Valentine's this year? No, I did not, but we recently caught up with a few people and their Valentines for this episode of Student Code. This is Student Code, where we break down the rights and wrongs of high school. Love is in the air at Vanguard on this episode about Valentine's Day. I don't like Valentine's Day because it's kind of a pointless holiday. You're supposed to be happy all, all the time. I think it's not cool anymore because was it ever cool? I don't know. The only thing I do on Valentine's Day is go out to dinner with my very good friend, Hadley McKay. I guess it's okay. I mean, get a buy stuff for her, you know, lose a couple hundred dollars out of the bank. I feel that like Valentine's Day is a waste of my money. Just look at her left wrist. I'm just kidding. I spent all my <laughs> hard earned money on her to make her smile and feel so happy. And I was so happy that I bought her that. I appreciate her every other day, don't get me wrong. And that's why I specifically bought, you know, that bracelet to appreciate her on this day. That's exactly why I bought it. Show my love. I also like Valentine's Day because I get to go buy candy for like 75% off the day after. So I then like, because she doesn't give me anything, so I get to eat it myself after. So that's why I like Valentine's Day. So I feel like it's just an excuse to put candy on sale. No, Valentine's Day is irrelevant because boyfriends should appreciate their girlfriends year-round and not for one day. Um, I usually don't do anything because I've always been alone on Valentine's Day, <laughs> but um, this year I will not be alone, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, so I'm just going to play it by ear, go with the flow. I mean, I'm not opposed. If anybody wants to do anything with me on Valentine's Day that is a male, that would be fine. Um, Valentine's Day is uh, pretty difficult for me because I always treat my lady with respect and I always buy her things and make sure that, that she knows she's beautiful and important to me. So it's hard for me on Valentine's Day to, to top how I treat her every other day. So I have to be really creative and uh, find good solutions in order to solve that problem. I like Valentine's Day. I think it's really sweet, but I mean, we don't really celebrate it. So not really that fun. Well, it's time for our commercial break. Don't go away, Vanguard. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So Andy, are you and your best friend exactly alike? No, we definitely butt heads on a number of things. I totally agree. Let's take a look at the newest episode of Opposites Attract. 
I'm Jesse, and I'm atheist. And I'm Hanin, and I'm Muslim. Oh, it's, <laughs> Jesse is really loud and funny, and it's so adorable all the time. I like how open-minded Hanin is. Uh, pretty much with anyone that she meets or any opin opinion that she has. Talking with Hanin about her religious preference, she told me about how it's kind of made her into the person that I'm friends with today, so it's just interesting to me to see how um, religion can be so intricately like tied into someone's life and just really be a big part of who they are. Well, I think a lot of times people think atheists are just these mean individuals that are very close-minded and just very rude towards religion, and Jesse's the complete opposite and made me just realize that people can be open-minded and can be very spiritual in just a different way. I think it's interesting how I don't know, Jessie wouldn't go towards religion when she needs some, like when she needs support, when she's going through a hard time. And I think that might make her stronger and I guess more independent and less reliant on, I don't know, some, some like outside force that you just believe in, you just put your faith in. I think that you can't properly judge someone's religious preference without actually being in their shoes. If you're not that specific religion, you can still learn about it and appreciate it for what it is, and the best way to do that is to associate yourself with this wide variety of people who have different perspectives. You should just be really open-minded with how you express your religious beliefs and really make sure you go down to the true morals of it, because most morals behind religions are acceptance of others and love and caring and friendship. I think you need to be open-minded with people, and it's not her atheism doesn't define her as a person. There's so much more about Jesse that there is to love and I, I love her atheism and I love how respectful and funny she is and I think people just need to be more open-minded and see someone as all around as opposed to just what religion they are or aren't. Class would suck. <laughs> School would be so boring without Hanin. Every single day, like even if I'm having a bad day, I know that like Hanin's probably going to be there to Not cheer well. me up. So. Oh yeah, every class. <laughs> yeah. We better like each other, <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> Well, that's all we have for this week, Vanguard. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and add us on Snapchat for our latest updates. I'm Andy Diaz. And I'm Savannah Ewers. Have a happy Friday, Vanguard.